Uh, for those of us who still want children, also that, the, that blessing too. Uh, as I was writing the ketubah, I told Phyllis this uh, when she came to pick it up, yeah, a very strange thing happened. As I was writing the name Michael in Hebrew, the Yud became extra large. And it says when the man, the Yud is a particular, the smallest letter of the Hebrew alphabet, of the alphabet in Hebrew, but it says that the man brings that letter into the marriage, and the woman brings the letter He, which is all-encompassing. It's, it's a larger letter and, in, and, and could represent the female being also able to carry the children and to hold so much. And so the He on, on Phyllis's Hebrew name, Ahuva, Riva, the He, the first He became extra large also. And so those two letters came out. And what it says, one of the mystical teachings is that when a man and woman come together, it's like fire. It's so much passion, it's so wonderful. But when you, when you add the Yud and the He, which is God's name in Hebrew, Yah, which is God, when you add God into the marriage, then it becomes a divine, a divine fire, a holy fire that encourages and, and uh, strengthens and doesn't burn, but, but is a very soothing, beautiful, holy fire. So uh, that seemed to be a very clear message that, that, that is coming out here. And, and I just I do want to bless you in every way. I encourage everyone else to, to join in in, in, that, in those blessings and, and uh, just anything that comes into your minds uh, to bless them with uh... okay. <laughs> I'm Leonard Littlefinger and I'm a member of two an ancient group of people and we have been here perhaps as long as these trees have been and the grass has been. We come here because we were invited, those of us that have known Jason for a long time. And I've been asked by Jason, <coughs> excuse me, I've been asked by Jason's adopted mother, Cecilia Brokenhouse, to say a few words on behalf of her as well as on behalf of the friends and the relatives that through the connection that we have made with Jason, to say a few words. And I thought it'd be appropriate to talk a little bit about what we represent as a people. And one of the most important parts of our relationship is that we have relatives. We make relatives. Our particular family that Jason has come to are people that suffered a massacre at Wounded Knee. We are direct descendants of those people. And as such, today we come to the fifth to the seventh generation that, and what we feel is that they may have taken our people, but they will not take our way of life. And that way of life is one of the most important values and virtues that the Lakota people have, and that is the making of relatives. Today, in the union that has occurred with Jason, who has now made his family, he's brought the family, the Lakota family, to his family. He has brought his family here that he has made together so that we, as one, can be a total family. And so that is why we have come, to pay honor and respect to Jason and his new wife, as well as to pay honor and respect to the making of that family that Jason has now accomplished. And so we look forward, maybe in the sense that this is a, an ideal setting for this occasion, because this is a land of an ancient people. We all here are ancient people, and together we live on forward for that tomorrow and for the making of additional relatives. So I stand before you, before you Jason, and your wife, and I pay my honor and my respect to both of you and your children. And we wish you that there may be many happy days as this day is forward. How? Amen. Amen. You don't know how delighted we are to be here. <laughs> You just can't know. 
the song of Gypsy Davy ran delighted through the night. The wise and foolish virgin kept her candles burning bright. Rise up, my young and foolish one, and follow if you can. There'll be no need of candles in the arms of such a man. Make love to each other, be free with each other, be prisoners of love till you lie in the sod. Be friends to each other, forgive one another, seek God in each other, be beggars to God. The night was cold and dark and wet as they wandered all along. The sky became their canopy and the earth became their throne. And as their raiment ran to rags, they thought it nothing wrong. For earth and sky are all you need when you sing the gypsy song. Make love to each other, be free with each other, be prisoners of love till you lie in the sod. Be friends to each other, forgive one another, seek God in each other, be beggars to God. They sang and played the gypsy song wherever they were sent. To some it seemed a dancing tune, and to some a sad lament. But in every heart that heard their song, the tear became a smile, and the pauper or the prince became a gypsy for a while. Make love to each other, be free with each other, be prisoners of love till you lie in the sod. Be friends to each other, forgive one another, seek God in each other, be beggars to God. Make love to each other, be free with each other, be prisoners of love till you lie in the sod. Be friends to each other, forgive one another, seek God in each other, be beggars to God. Thank you. I to find another Jewish guy living there in Pine Ridge, and I guess I'm the oldest uh, guy he knows in the area, both in age and which way. But anyhow, we started a tradition. We said, you know, the holidays come, we have to make certain kind of food. So we started with a Hanukkah one time. We made potato pancakes. We started to grow our own vegetables. And uh, uh, he's been additional, a great welcome to Pine Ridge. He's done an awful lot on the reservation. I'm not going to go through it now. I guess Jason will tell you. Uh, and we really appreciated having him there and that we were able to get together and to have these, uh, uh, celebrate the holidays together. And thank you. Thank you for showing me the light that you manifest. Energy in Hebrew all the way through, and then a modern English translation of it. These are called the seven brachot, the seven blessings, because there are seven of them. And again, over the second cup of wine. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shehakol bara lichvodo. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam yotzer haadam. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher yatsar et haadam b'tzalmo v'telem demu tavnito. V'hitkin wal bimeno binyana deyad baruch atah Adonai yotzer haadam. Soz tasis v'tagel ha'akara b'kiv Boots Baneha to the Telka Basimha, Baruka Taranai, Miss Sameach Tion Bivaneha, Sameach Tisamak Raim Havim, Kasamaka, Yitzir Kabagan Aden Mikedem, Baruka Taranai, Miss Amea Katan Vahala, Baruka Taranai, O Hinu Melahala, Masher Barasa, Son Vasimha, Katan Vahala, Gila Rina Ditsa Vahedva, Ahava Vahava, Shalom Vrayut. Mehirar Rai Elohinu Yishamah Ba'arei Yehuda V'chutzot Yerushalayim 
כל ששון וכל שמחה, כל חתן וכל כלה, כל מתחלות קטנים מכובתן ונערים ממשתי נגינתם, ברוך אתה אדוני, מצמח חתן עם כלה. Amen. And here this modern translation. Holy one of blessing, your presence fills creation, forming the fruit of the vine. Holy one of blessing, your presence fills creation, as all creation reflects your splendor. Holy one of blessing, your presence fills creation, giving life to each human being. Holy one of blessing, your presence fills creation, you created man and woman in your image, each reflecting the image of God for the other. Holy one of blessing, you give life to everything. How happy is she who thought herself childless and then finds that her children gather to rejoice within her. Holy one of blessing, you make Zion happy with her children. May these cherished friends rejoice in joy as you once rejoiced in your creation of the Garden of Eden. Holy one of blessing, your presence radiates joy for the bride and for the groom. Holy one of blessing, your presence fills creation. You created joy and gladness, bridegroom and bride, delight, song, laughter and gaiety, love and harmony, peace and friendship. May all Israel, may all the world, soon ring with voices of gladness and joy, voices of bridegrooms and brides, voices raised in joyful wedding celebrations, voices lifted in festive singing. O Holy One of Blessing, your presence radiates for the bride and groom together. Give this to Phyllis. Since both of you have joined voluntarily in this ceremony, which binds you together in marriage, acting in accordance with the law of Moses and the people Israel, you, Jason, and you, Phyllis, are now husband and wife. Mazel <laughs>